what goes on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're taking a look at a huge ass figure we're going to be taking a look at the brand new diamond select toys amazon originals invincible monster girl deluxe action figure box set of the girl and the monster this looks pretty awesome so there you can see her on the back you do get a read up kind of for both of them I don't know, I guess like one's for Amanda, and then one's for the, like, kind of the Guardians of the Globe, um, and then you get to see her monster form over there, and then the top of the box, and the bottom, there's the barcode if you're looking for it, uh, I won a $50 Amazon gift card from school, so I ordered this off of Amazon for 40 bucks, so I'm pretty excited, so without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this set open. So getting the monster out of the packaging, I gotta say, he's huge, like, I cannot believe how large this action figure is. I mean, he's got tons of articulation um, for his size. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Of course, this is Amanda. But Amanda looks pretty good. You know, we'll save her monster form for a second. So do we call the monster him, her, they, it? I don't know. What do we call the monster? But um, I really like the way that Amanda looks looks pretty good the paint is very clean the head sculpt is pretty good diamond select's been okay with getting this style sometimes they nail it sometimes it's eh. i still think the best figure on the line is robot robot was a lot of fun uh but the monster may be giving a run for money for his money i don't know maybe that's just me but i like the shoes um Kind of don't see why they couldn't put a little bit more articulation in her. I'm not, like, upset that she doesn't have the articulation. Most likely not going to display her anyway. Or, like, I don't know. Like, I don't like... Like, while her and the monster are two different things, it's like they're the same character in my head. So having them both on the shelf at the same time really... I don't like that. It bothers me. So... Uh, she's probably going to go with, like, accessories, whereas he's going to, like, the monster's going to go on display with the, the new Guardians of the Globe. Um, but that's just me, so I don't know. I really like the way that this looks for what it is. We'll just go over the articulation here. Just a little ball peg. Pretty good for what it's supposed to be. You get a hinge at the shoulders. She'll rotate all around. And then you get a horrendous waist twist, which I really don't know why they just didn't bring it down and then kind of do it over here. I mean, I think that would have made more sense, but that's just me, so let's take a look at what everybody's here for her monster form and did they nail this figure holy crap this thing is awesome it's it's a little bit bigger than i thought he was gonna be um which is never a bad thing well sometimes it's a bad thing but in this case it's not a bad thing um while there's like little to no paint at all all on this guy i think that it totally works for the aesthetic of the show maybe that's just me and maybe a little bit of paint shading or like cell shading wouldn't have been bad but i think looking at the sharper angles of the sculpt it captures the light very well like that looks like paint but it's not um so it really doesn't bother me because it really does mimic the art style of the show um just by catching the light in certain ways so here you can see a look at the head sculpt i think they nailed the face dude they nailed that face it keeps popping off but that's okay um i love it i love the little subtle line work in there the jaw the expression i love the smirking face but i also love the angry face we'll, we'll talk about them more in a second um you get the big chunky arms, the huge fists. Again, the angular sculpt looks great. I love that. You do get um, like the cloth, which is harder, so it's kind of sharp. So be careful. Get the abs in there, and then the torso, like the the tunic piece. Again, there's not much to speak on. There's it's just a nice crisp animated sculpt with you know no real paint on it. The only thing that's painted is the face and the finger and toenails. That's it. Um, and honestly, that kind of works, especially for the price point. Get the big tootsies. I like the way that that looks. Um, one thing that kind of bothers me is, and it's such a nitpicky thing, the bands, I guess, the wraps around his, his ankles or his, his shins are both going in the same direction, whereas the ones on his forearms are going in the opposite directions. Um, I kind of wish this one was facing outward. It's a very little thing, but I tried to, like, rotate it out and then like flip the ankle around like this 
and you can do that if it really bothers you, but it does not match the sculpt. It's it's honestly really meant to be like this. So, eh, whatever. Is it the end of the world? No, but whatever. Um, I still think it looks fantastic. I love the proportions. I love a big bruiser. Um, so, and this thing's heavy, dude. Like, that is a decently weighted figure. And he does come with a couple accessories. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So he does come with some alternate hands and two alternate heads. So you are going to get these, like, kind of clenched hands. But they're not, like, open enough to get a head or something in there. I'm not really sure what these are for, but... It's a very nice sculpt. I love, like, the angular looks on it. Um, obviously, you get the fist hands, and then you get the smirking head, which we saw. That's the one that it comes with on the package. Then you get a, a neutral face. It's nice. I like that. And then you get this awesome angry head. That looks great, along with these style pose, like, clenched hands, like monstrous hands so i like that a lot i think that that's a nice assortment of accessories i think the only thing that this probably could have came with considering it is a little light on accessories i think it would have been cool if they included like a big magic effect part that they can like stand in so when she's like transforming into the monster she kind of like poofs up with this like blue magic i think that would have been pretty cool if we got that included but um other than that, I mean, I can't really think of anything. Maybe, like, some cement pieces or something. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. It's, is it completely necessary? No. But it, it, it would have been cool. So, I don't know. That's just me. But let me know what you guys think um, Amanda should have came with. So, taking a look at articulation, there's some good stuff going on here. The head is great. It's on a double ball peg, it'll look up great, look down, get awesome pivot and rotate. So, with minimum gapping... Wow, it's almost like ball pegs work. Wow, that is really, really good. I like that a lot. The shoulders are going to go outwards that much. They're going to go down. This figure is very stiff. Um, it's a little cold in here, so and it was in the Amazon locker for a little bit. But it is very stiff, so I definitely suggest heating it up. It's kind of a diamond select thing, but you get a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow, um, which is fine. Again, watch these. They're very sharp. And then the wrists all swivel and hinge. The diaphragm joint could be a little bit better, but it's actually not bad. It'll crunch forward, arc back a little bit. No real pivot side to side. He's very, like, ovular. And then you get rotation up there and a waist twist. The hips will do full splits. And then they'll go down. He will kick forward pretty far, actually. Um, this is not super soft, but it's a soft enough. And this is the joint is tight enough to get up the leg. And then it won't go back because he does have like a butt sculpt. Um, and then there is not a like a thigh twist, like a thigh swivel, but it'll rotate on the ball peg in there just enough. He has single jointed knee, and then you do get a rotation at the band, which that helps a lot considering you don't get a thigh swivel. And then the ankle goes down, it goes up, and it'll pivot, and combined with that shin swivel, very good ankle pivot. So, it's kind of exactly what I expected in terms of articulation. Diamond's never really known for crazy articulation feats, but... Considering how big this character is, I can't really imagine a company like Hasbro or McFarlane doing much better. Like, maybe double-jointed knees and arms, but, like, the rest of it, pretty damn good, especially considering how nice the aesthetic is. Here they are next to the NECA Toys King Kong and the Jazzworks Fortnite Series 6-inch Peely. Here they are with the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman and the Hasbro Marvel Legends 6-inch x-men series darwin and of course here they are next to the hasbro marvel legends marvel studios what if series zombie captain america so overall i gotta say i'm pretty damn happy i think that this is an awesome set and i'm so happy so so happy that this line is continuing um i saw a rumor or a comment on one of my videos for the last Invincible set that we got. That that is all we were getting. And then Comic-Con came around and Diamond Select went ahead and revealed two more figures. We're getting the Mauler Twins and Rex Splode. And they both look 
great. So that leaves only one new one member of the new Guardians of the Globe, Black Samson, and I really hope we get him in the yellow suit versus like his new purple suit. Um, and then after that, I would love, 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 love to get the original Guardians of the Globe with like Aquarius and Martian Man and the Green Ghost and Red Riot. Um, but the biggest one in this line now, other than Black Samson, is is gonna definitely be the Immortal for me. I love the Immortal. I think he's a great character. And I guess technically he could go with either team now. Kind of spoilers, but um, he can go with either team now. So I really hope that the Immortal is in the next line. I think the next wave should be the Immortal and Black Samson. That would make me very, very happy. Because um, we already got Shrinking Ray. Um, and then if we could get like battle beast i would even take a seesaw and just load him with accessories this line could could go on very very long and i i hope i hope and i pray that it does um at least at the very least give us black samson and the immortal um but we'll see diamond select takes their time with figures and sometimes they will release figures years down the road so <sighs> we're in it for the long haul at this point right Right, so with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So at a price point of $39.99, 40 big ones, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10. I really like it. Do I wish Amanda herself had a little bit more articulation? Sure, that's what brings it back. Um, but I think the monster is pretty much perfect for Diamond Select standards. I really, really like it. Um, he's actually a lot more fun to play around with than I thought. The only thing is, like, he's very pointy and kind of stiff, so I kind of cut my fingers a couple times playing with this figure, but it's worth it, baby. It's just part of the game. So, with all that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So, if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me here. Um, subscribe here. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all those apps, and I have a lot of fun, so I'm sure you all will, too. But as always, let me know. You copping? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Walkers on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching. And to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me. So DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.